the verses recited by our wonderful Qari tonight, um, Allah Rabbul Izzah instructs his Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and instructs him to do the dhikr. وَلَقَدْ نَعْلَمُ أَنَّكَ يَضِيقُ صَدْرُكَ بِمَا يَقُولُونَ فَسَبِّحْ بِحَمْدِ رَبِّكَ Do the tasbih of your Lord. And as a general rule for the Muslims, Allah Rabbul Izzah says, يَا أَيُّهَا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا ذُكُرُوا اللَّهَ ذِكْرًا كَثِيرًا Oh believers, remember Allah in abundance. And this being the middle 10 days of Ramadan, it is the days of Maghfirah. So increase in the dhikr of istighfar. And with this remembrance or with, it, with this dhikr, many benefits have been given. I will just mention some stories to illustrate the points. And I see a lot of youngsters and stories seem to affect the mind more than, than anything else. In the time of Zainul Abideen, a person came to the Sheikh and he said, Sheikh, we suffer from drought. There's no rain. Give us a solution. So the Sheikh said, increase the saying of Astaghfirullah. Increase the istighfar. So the person went. And another person came. And he said, Sheikh, there is poverty. Poverty has struck our lands. Give us a solution. So the Sheikh said, increase the istighfar. And then another man came. Sheikh, I can't have children. I don't have, he said, istighfar. So as these people came and the Sheikh is giving nasiha istighfar, istighfar, a man sitting with the Sheikh, he said, Sheikh, what is this? You know, everyone comes, you give the same medication, you were with a flu or diarrhea or whatever, you know, same medication. So the Sheikh said, it's from the Quran where Allah Rabbul Izzah narrates to us the story of Nuh alayhi salam. It says, فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا Repent to your Lord, make istighfar and he will open the skies with rain to come. And he will bless you with wealth and children and make your orchards grow and rivers to come around it. So the benefits of istighfar, increase the istighfar. And istighfar in our times is the only refuge we have from the adab of Allah Rabbul Izzah. Allah Rabbul Izzah told us, and I won't punish them or prophets so long as you're amidst them. But the Prophet Sallallahu passed away. So the second, I will not punish them so long as they are doing istighfar. So busy yourselves in istighfar. In insist on istighfar. The Prophet Sallallahu all whose sins are forgiven, his past and present and future, and the Prophet Sallallahu he used to say more than a hundred istighfars in some narrations in one gathering. Therefore increase the saying, of istighfar and the benefits of it are huge there's a story of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and amidst the you know amidst the Ahl al-Ilm he is considered that uh, Imam of the Ahl al-Sunnah and amidst the people that follow the Mazhab of Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal they say no one contributed more to the religion after Abu Bakr compared to Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. Like they consider him second after Abu Bakr al-Siddiq because simply in the days of Mihna, he, the sacrifices he performed were monumental. So a huge scholar loved by the Muslims around the world. But at that time there was no TV, no camera, nothing like that. So the majority of the Muslims didn't know what the Sheikh looks like. They used to hear about his fatawa and his, his durus and so on, but they hadn't seen him. So the Sheikh decided one day that he would travel to another city to visit or on an errand. And when he went there, night befell him and there was no hotels and things. So he decided he's going to sleep in the masjid. And uh, the masjid committees, they haven't changed much. They decided, Sheikh, you can't sleep here, get out. So uh, 
the sheikh said, you know, I'm Musafir, just let me stay here. So they said, no, Musafir, no, Musafir, everyone's a Musafir here. You know, if we leave the doors open, the whole country is coming here. So go outside. So the, the sheikh went out. And going out, uh, a baker saw him. You know, the bread maker, baker. And he saw, the, you know, signs of goodness and piety on him. So he said, uh, Akhi, why don't you come stay with me until the morning and then go, inshallah, your way. So Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal went with him and uh, he slept in, because bakers bake the bread in the morning for the people so all night he's kneeling the dough, you know, he's making the, the dough for the bread. So every time he's working he's saying Astaghfirullah, Astaghfirullah. And um, the Sheikh noticed once, twice in every step of the way Astaghfirullah Azim, Astaghfirullah Azim, So the Sheikh came to him, he goes, you do this every night? He goes, yes, I, I do this every night. He goes, you say this dhikr with it every night? He goes, yes, every night. It's... So he goes, have you seen any, any fruits? Is there any signs that has come? Because a person so insistent on the adhkar, Allah Rabbul Izza, you know, have you seen any fruits? He said, um, I, I have noticed that whatever dua I make, Allah Rabbul Izza gives. Except for one dua. I have prayed to see Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal and I haven't seen him yet. So the Sheikh said, Subhanallah, because of your dua, Allah Rabbul Izza has brought me out of my city into another city, out of his house, so I can come into your house. So, فَقُلْتُ اسْتَغْفِرُوا رَبَّكُمْ إِنَّهُ كَانَ غَفَّارًا يُرْسِلِ السَّمَاءَ عَلَيْكُمْ مِدْرَارًا وَيُمْدِدْكُمْ بِأَمْوَالٍ وَبَنِينَ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ جَنَّاتٍ وَيَجْعَلْ لَكُمْ أَنْهَارًا فَقُلْتُ مَا قُلْتِ إِنْ تَكُ حَسَنَةً فَمِنَ اللَّهُ وَإِنْ تَكُ سَيِّئَةً فَمِنْ نَفْسِ وَشَيْطَانُ وَالسَّلَامُ عَلَيْكُمْ وَرَحْمَةُ اللَّهِ وَبَرَكَاتُهُ يُنَادِي فُؤَادِي بِلَيْلِ السُّكُونِ بِدَمٍ 